Okay, Leo. So as far as your energy and what your hopes are, um, and we can also kind of get into the fears, um, we have the King of Cups here. And the King of Cups is a beautiful blend of energies. Um, obviously you have the King, so you have a strong, almost masculine um, energy, which I feel like a lot of Leos are in a leadership position. Uh, you're definitely protecting or protective of your loved ones. Um, and you're strong. You're very strong. A lot of you are coming, when you look at love, you're coming from a very strong place. Um, you, I feel also that you take your relationships very, very seriously. A lot of you are, um, you know, you're wanting marriage, really. This, I mean, this card, King of Cups, he's, he's looking for, he's serious, he's mature, um, he's regal. And so I feel that a lot of you are hoping or desiring you want to be married. You want to find that special someone that you can, you know, they could be your special someone for the rest of your life and you can be theirs, you know, that kind of happily ever after idealistic, you know, if you're a queen, you want to find your king. And if you're a king, you want to find your queen. There's a very noble, regal quality about this. And I almost feel like you're looking, you're, you're looking cause he's, he's kind of out pondering. He's looking to see where is my lover? <laughs> where is my loved one? Where art thou? Um, and you know, this has such a strong loving energy to it. This card. Um, I love how it's surrounded by just a gentle pink. Uh, and then we have this deep, he's in this deep purple robe and then it's surrounded by flowers. So I feel Leo, you have so much to offer um, to your loved one. You, you are looking to find that person that, you know, you're happy with, and you have so much to bestow upon them. You, you have so many creative gifts and ideas and romantic, you know, you're just, you're ready for romance. You're ready to, to, to bestow and to give and open your heart to that person. Um, so a really beautiful energy, really beautiful energy. The other thing is because this is a cups, I feel like, and it, you know, there's a lot of blue here. We have deep blue waters, blue flowers. Um, your emotions are strong. Your emotions are strong, Leo, but I feel that you definitely have a sense of discipline over them. A lot of you right now, you're not being completely ruled by them. You're actually pretty balanced. You're really balanced. You've got your intuition is really strong and intact, your deep emotions, and then just the king, masculine, rational, authoritative energy. You're not being ruled. I feel like if you're single or if you're dating, you're not like just I feel like you've learned, Leo, a lot of you have learned maybe when you first started dating or just being young, uh, you know, it's just like, oh, I'm just going to go a, a thousand percent into this relationship. Everything's going to work out. You know, everything's going to be beautiful. And then <laughs> life and reality hits. And, you know, I feel like you've learned from those six situations, not that, you know, your optimism is such a gift, but that you've just learned how to temper it a little bit more that, you know, that if emotions are completely unbridled or, just, if you're just, you can drown in them. Basically you've seen people just drown in their emotions and you have too much pride for that. You have too much pride to just be overcome by your emotions, but you feel deeply and you're very passionate and you're very intuitive. So I feel like your intuition this month is very strong in regards to love. Um, you are looking for something more serious. A lot of you, or if you're in a relationship, you want, this is serious. The, you're, you're thinking long-term with this person. This isn't like, you know, kind of a one night stand thing. I mean, once again, this is a general reading. So remember that. Um, and I also just with this bear here, I feel that you're also very protective of your loved ones. Uh, and that, like I said, you are the leader. You are the one that, you know, is going to help protect and, and help your lover feel safe and secure. So I feel like a lot of Leos, you might be drawn to, um, there's a couple of energies represented here. I feel like you're either drawn to an air sign. So a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or some of you may be drawn to a water sign, uh, a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. One of the two is, you know, what I feel strongly for a lot of Leos in relationship. So I feel like as far as your fears, 
um, kind of what some of you might be fearing is, you know, it's that whole thing about idealism that we all have this perception of how we think life should be, or, you know, what our, if we dream, you know, <laughs> what our dreams would be. And so the obstacle is, is that, I mean, Leo, you are such a positive, optimistic person, but just things in life and, you know, maybe other people or negativity or just the way certain things have gone, the temptation, I mean, we have the sun in reverse is to, to, to fear, to maybe doubt that, you know, maybe things aren't that good. Maybe things won't turn out the way that I want them to. Um, maybe things aren't as bright that there's a little bit of fear or even negativity that could be looming um, or that could be tempting you to, you know, cause this is your energy. I mean, your energy is this beautiful, romantic, balanced, authoritative, hopeful king looking for his queen, queen looking for his king. I mean, that's just like a fairy tale. Like that's something you'd read out of a book. So, you know, obviously though we don't live in a fairy tale, the world wants to kind of some, someone or something wants to dampen your spirit of optimism and, and sunny, bright disposition, basically. Um, the thing about this card though, even though the sun is in reverse, it's still positive card. So I don't feel like it's going to get you down. I don't feel like whatever this is, whether this is a relationship or a person, you might be tempted for a little bit, or you might have like an off day. Um, but you're very strong. You're strong in your energy right now. And you know who you are. You've, you've learned to balance out your emotions. You know what you desire. You're not going to let anyone steal your son, your joy. Um, but that, that is the obstacle to be overcome. And you know, nobody's perfect. So we're all going to run into, you know, someone just might make a comment one day at work or, um, you know, or just one day some weird stuff happens and it's just like, you know, you just, your, your sunny optimism is just like, meow, you know, but tomorrow's a new day and you're like, I, I, you know, you see the sun again. So that is going to be the obstacle to be overcome is just maintaining your optimism and your belief in true love and true romance. And, you know, I really do believe that what you believe is what you ultimately attract. So, you know, keep up your faith, keep up your optimism, Leo, because it's so much better. And you know, this to feel good than to feel bad. And you have such a better chance of attracting that, that person that you really desire if you believe that you can. And so I feel like you're on a really good path. As far as your love life, you're strong. Uh, there might be a little bit of doubts or uncertainties or negativity kind of looming in the background or in the subconscious. Um, and that kind of relates to the realization card. We do have the three of swords. So, um, the three of swords, and this is where the air signs, um, you know, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra communication, communication. Um, there, this could apply a few ways. It might get sticky with somebody in your relationship. Um, so whether you're dating or whether you're in a relationship or whether you're single and I'll address that, but, uh, there could be some words that are a little piercing that are a little, you know, this could, this could apply a few ways for a few different people. Unfortunately for some Leos, this, the outcome of a potential person they're dating, you know, this is a three. So there might be someone that is not as honest as you would have hoped. And they've kind of have more going on on the side than, you know, because you're really looking for, you're looking for marriage and that significant other. Um, so if you are dating someone or if your intuition is feeling like someone isn't right or something isn't right, don't doubt that. Don't take it personally either. I mean, I know that's easier said than done, but there is a three of swords here and that can represent, you know, three people in a situation and, you know, something that causes pain in the heart, you know, something emotionally words spoken. Uh, and this isn't going to be for all of you. Um, the, if that is not the situation, if you're not in a potential relationship or dating someone where you feel like there might be someone else in the picture, um, what I'm sensing for some Leos is, is if, if that is the situation that might be what's kind of getting you down because this is who you are. You know who you are. You know how much you have to offer. And if you're dating someone or you're really excited about someone, and then you find out that they're, you know, they're not as serious as you, 
it might cause you to be a little e, eh, but I, I know that you won't take it personal. I know that you know your value and your worth and you know how much you have to give and to offer and anyone's going to be lucky to have you. So, so this is painful as this card can be. It's also very truthful. And you know what? You'd rather see this person as they are right away than to invest a lot in them. Um, you know, and to get farther along that relationship path, um, you know, you'd rather know, I mean, you'd rather know so that you can move on and find that person that really is going to make your heart sing and really is going to find, you know, your soulmate. Um, if you are single, then this could reflect thoughts or, um, subconscious patterns from the past something in a relationship that's been said that are, is still stinging you a little bit. Maybe it's affected your pride or your ego. Um, because I'm sensing that something is wanting to dampen your son, Leo, something is wanting to like, you know, you are this leader and you have this bright optimism and you have this love for everyone. And something is, is, you know, there might need, there, there might have to be something to be looked at. And, you know, you might need to pull these swords out, whatever they are, whatever those words have been, whatever those feelings, that situation is, you know, it's obviously created some pain. So it, it, you know, it's like, it hurts to pull it out of the wound, but then once you do, then you're set free, then you can heal that wound and move on. You can heal your heart and move on. So I feel like for some of you, <clears throat> by the end of the month, you're going to be, you're going to be pulling out some of those swords. You're either going to realize that a person that you are interested in or dating or are with might have something else going on, or you're going to revisit some things in yourself, maybe in your past that you know are still there, you know are wounds that have hurt you from the past, and you're going to be dealing with those things. And I know it's painful to feel those feelings, but you know, I feel like you're ready to do that because you're at this very balanced place. You're not, you're not going to let your emotions just take over you. If you have to deal with these emotions or something painful, you're going to, you're going to balance it out. You're going to use your authority, your leadership, your wisdom, your intuition, your love for yourself and for others. You're not going to let it overtake you. You might have a moment where you're feeling a little funky <laughs> or a little off or the day is just like a little weird, but you know what? At the end of the day, this is your energy. This is your energy, Leo. So, um, you're wanting great things, Leo, and you're going to get them. It's just a matter of time. So I just want to encourage you, um, these little tests, these little trials, if you're weeding through people, you're, you're just looking for someone that's honestly as bright and shining as you are. You're looking for your other half that can, that can give you what you're going to give them. So let's go ahead and draw another card, get a little more um, information. So for Leo, what is the Oracle for the month of May to help them in their love life shine their best and brightest self? <laughs> oh my gosh. There you go. I said, what's the best card to shine your best and brightest self when we get shine? Okay, that's awesome. Okay, so the message is Leo to shine. All right, let's go ahead and read this. Okay, so the key words are believe, realize, harness, enthusiasm, potential, and breakthrough. This card symbolizes the positive and powerful energy that now surrounds you. By embracing this energy, you can improve current relationships and draw new ones to you. See yourself in a glowing orb of brilliant golden light. Believe in the power of this light to infuse your relationship with enthusiasm, life, and greater love and understanding. See it moving outward, surrounding all of the people you know and filling them with joy and hope. Visualization can be quite powerful, so use it to magnetize and attract what you want in your life. It is also time for you to let your own light shine. You are an amazing being, and I agree, I totally was tapping on that with this. Uh, you're magnificent. Realizing and believing this is the key to unlocking your personal potential. Be confident in your dealings with others. Use your talents to point relationships in positive, empowering directions. Letting your own light shine will act as a beacon to attract others to you, people of a like mind and similar vibrations. 
It will also encourage others to let their own light shine. Harness the amazing energy surrounding you and shining from within you. Use this energy to break through any obstructions that stand in the way of complete happiness. Know that you deserve the best. People are attracted to you when you are joyful, enthusiastic, and confident. Radiate these qualities into the world and see what beautiful things you attract. Wow. Um, the affirmation is I shine my light out into the world and I joyfully attract all that I desire. Whew. And the, they say that the, the symbol is the sun. Okay. This is awesome. This is so awesome. So basically for this month, Leo, I just feel like you are a beautiful being recognizing that, and you might have to cut through some crap or BS but don't let it get you down because you are the leader. You are the light. You are a shining bright light for others. And, um, you have so much to offer. 